uh, on tour with Fu Manchu. Well, I like that a lot. Uh, those are on sale this Friday, I think. Uh, so next week, if you want to get yourself into that clutch show, I'll hook you up for that. I'll have Dave Matthews Band tickets. Uh, we're doing a preview screening of The Fall Guy. That's the next Ryan Gosling offer. 80s television show, Lee Majors, called The Fall Guy back in the day, if you're old enough to remember that. Played a guy named Colt Seaver. I don't know if they're keeping the name, but the trailer looks pretty rad. It's Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, and he plays a stuntman. So it might be based loosely on the TV show. I mean, they're taking that that IP, I guess, but Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, who showed up during his SNL monologue. He plays Colt Seavers. Colt Seaver, there you go. Yeah. yeah, Lee Majors back in the day. He even sang the theme song. Are you too young to remember the fall guy? I mean, I know it a little bit, but I always mix it up with, what's the other one with uh, Steve Austin? The Six Million Dollar yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah, that would have predated all, the fall guy. They all kind of ran together. Yep. In that. I think the fall guy was like his return to television, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was Seavers. I thought it was Seaver. Colt mm-hmm. Seavers picks up some extra pocket money by uh, tracking dudes down. He's a Hollywood stuntman. And the theme song to the television show was called The Unknown Stuntman. And Lee Majors, who fancied himself a crooner, sang the song. I'm not the kind to kiss and tell. And of course, there's a lot, you know, he, there's a lot of dated references, including one to Farrah Fawcett, who was his wife at the time. I but believe. I've been seen with Farrah. I've never been with anything less than a man. So fine. I've been on fire. Imagine doing that now. I've never been with anything less than a nine. Oh, uh, I made a lot of twos, but I threw them in the street. Now nah, that's enough of that. But the show was called The Fall Guy in the 80s. What was it? Was it Scrooged? Where Lee Major? It's Lee Majors comes to get to save Santa when they're showing the ne- the holiday network uh, specials on Bill Murray's network and Scrooged, one of them is Lee Majors comes in with a gun to save Santa. Anyway, they have remade that show into a movie called The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling. And it looks like it's jam-packed with action. So we're doing an advanced screening of that two weeks from tonight. And I'll have passes for you all next week. Your Cleveland Guardians are playing tonight. It's the second of four long series there at Fenway against the Red Sox. 7-10 tonight on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. So when we roll at 630, we'll get you right into your pregame coverage. Uh, If you listen to us on the iHeartRadio app, tell me where. Give you a pin. On our map back here. Pretty up to date. Rob listens in New Orleans. Dan is one of our bureau chiefs in Chicago, Illinois. Darren is in Honolulu. Honolulu and New York City both named the two most expensive places in the entire United States to live. Mary, did you know New York's expensive? I did not know that. And I've lived here for a while. I've noticed. Uh, Susan listens in Niceville, Florida. And we have a bureau chief in Redmond, Oregon, a girl named Rachel. I don't know if she sent this to me, but Redmond, Oregon is a town about 35 minutes away, 25 minutes, like under a half an hour, uh, from a very small town in central Oregon called Sisters. Sisters, Oregon. And they've got a bit of a problem there. Because the high school choir teacher at Sisters High School is being accused of some hanky-panky with a student. The sister, this is a town of 3,000 people. Small town, Central Oregon. Rick Johnson, the longtime Sisters High School choir teacher, is on leave until further notice after allegations surfaced of inappropriate conduct with his students over a period of several years. Students. Now, this could be a he said, they said situation, but unfortunately for him, uh, they got screenshots of a bunch of texts. 
Uh, screenshots were recently posted to social media uh, between him and a minor. Uh, they reported on the uh, Central Oregon Daily News reported on the allegations and the video of the family confronting him over his calls and text messages to a teen student. Uh, messages of the teacher acknowledging that she was a minor and joking about how many more days she had until she was 18. Here's a screen grab of some of the texts uh, where he says, Although if you were dead and near me, hmm, taxidermy. See, this gets real weird. Ew. People are so bored, so bored in these tiny towns. And just keep you in my freezer or in my bed or on my couch so I can cuddle with you. Bro, what? And the miner says, cuddling with cold, dead, lifeless me isn't the same. And the teacher says, I could strap you into my passenger seat. Then I'm always legally driving in the carpool lane. And the student says, wow. What does this person teach? Choir. But you see what's happening here, right? Choir. You got rows of students with their mouths open. Come on. Bill. No. Wow. So you would just use so me? Can sing. The student says. Dead me wouldn't squirm when you poked her, though, and I know how much you like that. And he says, no, cuddling wouldn't be the same, but I have collected some of your sounds in my phone. What does that mean? I could microwave you and then play those sounds and cuddle with you. It would be as close as I could get, which if you're dead would at least be something. What I don't hell? understand what's going on here. Can't you, you just, what happened to good old meat and potatoes, sexy texts with high school students? I mean, if you're going to get in trouble... Uh, you're also going to be, everybody's going to be creeped out. Uh, he was talking to her about um, how the teacher was sleeping naked, and he said they should try it sometime. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, another student who graduated from Sisters High School in 2016 said she developed what she thought was a friendly texting relationship with the teacher when she was 17. He no. added her on Snapchat right after graduation. <sighs> I don't know how old the guy is, though. I don't know if he's like, I mean, he can't be old, old, right? If he's got this uh, uh, this um, student going back and forth with him on the text. Why I mean, can't they old be old? people know yeah. how to text. No, no, no. No high school girl is going to send these kind of texts to like a 60-year-old teacher. Oh, really? You want to do this to me? You know, it's like, it's got to be a guy that's like late 20s, early 30s, you know? So these it students started. What's the that? It doesn't say in the article. It does not. No, they're keeping every other than him. I mean, his name is out there, but um, let me go to the Central Oregon Daily News. Yeah, I don't know how old the guy is. They're basically recycling the same stories about the screen grabs and, you know. Uh, the choir teacher's defense was that he had given his phone to his son, who was probably about two years old at the time, and that his son had screenshotted the pictures by accident. Pictures. Ah, <laughs> uh, blaming your toddler. That is yeah. a novel defense. That is a novel defense. This stupid baby did the screenshot. Oh, this not me. dummy. Yeah. They're like, well, why was he screenshotting a picture of your wiener? Well, that's his old home. That's where he came from. What do you expect him to do? Nostalgia. That's pretty, yeah, yeah, nostalgia. Okay, but like, who texts like that? Don't know. Like, who thinks that is, I don't know, if it's sexy or intriguing, or what is he going for? Let me microwave you and then put yeah. you, yeah, yeah, you, I'll taxidermy you and then cuddle next to you. creepy stuff. Cuddle next to you. How does I've that recorded sound? some of your sounds. Or what do you say? I've saved some of your sounds. I've saved some of your sounds. Yeah. And I'll play them back to you sometime. What if they weren't even sexy sounds? <laughs> Just like her be uh, bending over or yeah. yelling. Oh. I can see how that guy could get all up in a froth. Got $1,000 here, as promised. It's your last chance to win today, and then we'll start it up all over again tomorrow. A grand from the Buzzard Bookie. I hope it goes right into your pockets. Good luck. 
this is your chance to bet with the buzzard bookie and win one thousand dollars now enter this nationwide keyword at wmms.com bills that's bills enter it now at wmms.com i must tell you right out of the gate with food news i didn't think that there would come a day where Two of my great passions would intersect. But it's finally happened. And it's not like... I'm kind of maybe now buying into some of Mary's stuff where you put it out into the universe. Uh, manifesting. Manifest. At, uh, Doritos is releasing a, a limited edition Mountain Dew Baja Fiery Mango Chip. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be like a Doritos is doing a kale chip. <laughs> yeah. That's what no. Alan's excited about. Uh, nope. I'm brand loyal to my kale chips, Bill. Mm. I will not go to Doritos for my kale chips. Uh, they're going all in, you know, over there at Mountain Dew Incorporated on the 20th anniversary of Baja Blast. So they are just incorporating it basically into everything. And... I don't know if Mountain Dew is Doritos part of like PepsiCo or I, I don't I think know. it is, yeah. Okay. So usually these companies since it's there's all like, under that same I think it's Yum brands, right? Because that's Taco Bell and KFC and okay. Pizza Hut and all that stuff is because that's why they do all those collaborations. That's together. what I was going to say. Yeah. There's basically three companies now that own everything. So they just go, Well, what do we own? Uh, throw those both into a vat and we'll throw it on the uh on the shelf and some rubes will buy it. And I am that rube. Uh, the Doritos Baja Fiery Mango Chip is getting ready to be released uh, in small uh, supplies. It'll start hitting select retailers, um, well, this past weekend. I'd like to know what those select retailers are, hmm. uh, but it will roll out nationwide. I uh, Probably Walmart. <laughs> yeah. It'll begin rolling out nationwide on April the 28th, which is a week from this Sunday. And you'll be able to buy them online, too. But boy, oh boy, the mango habanero flavor combination with some uh, spicy stuff. It could be good. Yes, I bet it's very good, by the way. It sounds like it could be good. Very rarely do the Doritos folks let me down. I don't like mango. Boy, I do. I mean, we eat a lot of mango at Casa Cox. I will say that. I'm always Just cutting up a mango. Yeah, my daughter loves them. I'm always cutting up fruit. For my daughter, she eats a lot of apples and strawberries and berries and loves mango. You know, and sometimes, you know, obviously, mango isn't always in season. So sometimes you get one, it's got like the, you know, consistency of a tennis ball. But yeah, I'm always cutting up fruit in my house. But uh, yeah, very, very happy about that. So, yes, albeit brief, but a little bit of food news just for me. Mm. 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 If it weren't mango, I'd probably go for it. I'm probably trying them anyway, honestly. So it's the, like ju it's just the mango that's keeping you away. I just away. don't like that flavor. You can't that's have the mango flavor is what I like. Oh. Not a big fan, no. Mm. Here's something random. Yeah. Are you ready? Always. In the break, someone I've never met. Walks up to me and goes, do you want four free tickets to a Broadway show tonight? And I was like, yeah. I Why got a gun. Let's go to a Broadway <laughs> show. <laughs> 8 p.m., the heart of rock and roll. The Huey Lewis, Lewis story? The new story. Oh, wow. wow. That's fun. Dude, these are legit tickets. They're orchestra. That means that everybody L. else said no. Yeah, there's probably and just, aisle seats There's not a lot too. of people there, right? No, there's nobody here this yeah. time of night. I've never wow. seen this person a day in my life, so I'm assuming they just like randomly work on sales floor or something and came down here to look to find someone to give these to. But now I am struggling because I'm like Joe Briggs. I mean, what'd you say? Hit up Joe Briggs. He'd go. Well, I know some comments. What theater? The Belasco. The James Earl Jones Theater. Oh, the Darth Vader. Uh, wow, it's too bad our buddy Jesse Schultz doesn't still live in New York. He'd be yeah. sperming in his uh, dungarees. 8 p.m. So I'm on a time crunch. I already asked my fake grandparents, and they said no. They're busy. All right. <laughs> my 80-year-old friends. Oh, yeah, busy. your faux grandparents? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now i got to find somebody to go with. I was supposed to go bowling tonight. but now, Yeah, you said man, that earlier. Hit up twos and Briggs and 
Oh, now, you know a lot of people gotta... out there. It's like a 10 minute walk from you. Yeah, I know. It's right It's over there. by Rockefeller Center. But I'm not wearing like cute clothes. I don't think. Do you have to dress up to go to Broadway? Not on a Tuesday. Probably n- on a Tuesday at the Huey Lewis show. Probably not. No. <laughs> what if we go in there and there's like no one there? <laughs> there's like six. Even people. better. Maybe. What's the matter with that? You still perform. You think they'll still perform the same? Yeah. Yeah. It's Broadway. Yeah, and you're Huey not gonna go to Broadway and have no one show. <laughs> that has to be a real bomb of a. You got a, you got a lot of uh, season ticket holders. Mm-hmm. The heart of rock and roll. Wow, look at that. A new musical comedy inspired by the songs of Huey Lewis. Can your roommate go? And the news. She's not in town. Oh. Now rocking on Broadway. Wow. All right. Well, they got some so, hot people in this production. W- w- I mean, I, whether or not I find someone to go, I mean, I'm definitely going to go. But that'll be cool. This will be my first ever Broadway show. That's exciting. I've, I mean, I've seen things How at much Playhouse Huey Square. How Huey Lewis do you know? I think I know this song, and that's it. I don't you know Hip to the Future. Back to the Future, right? No, I have not. You've never seen Back oh, to I know the this Future. Song. It's Hip to Be Square. That's Hip I to Be like Square. The choruses of these songs. Back to the Future was Power of Love. Right? Power of Love, yeah. I know the chorus of that one. Huh? I know the chorus of that one. I mean, you Power are on record of not liking '80s music, and this he is. Is 80s music oh, as it gets. You think I'm gonna hate this? You think you're gonna hate it? He's not I'll as synthy. Out? He's not as synthy as the stuff that you dub all 80s music, but it is very, very 80s music though. Bradley one from Huey Lewis. You're gonna see this in the movie. Back to the Future. Huey Lewis signs the news, everybody. Boy, Boy that's not Huey Lewis signs the news. I'm so mad. It's Huey Lewis in the news. Power of love. Mm-hmm. Do you believe in love? See, these are all bangers. Huey Lewis. Want a new drug? This guy, this poor guy's deaf now, um, but he's got a hog. He's got a real knee shooter. Huey Lewis is. <laughs> you think that'll be part of the uh, the musical? Part of the lore of the Broadway show. <laughs> hey, I, I'm short of mic stand. Don't worry about it. I got a kickstand. Two, three, four. It's just nice. 80s music. I, I, Hoping. We were a Huey Lewis in the News family. Well, yeah. Yeah, we, we right down the middle for the Mormons, yeah. right? Yeah. But imagine oh, you were in the so. imagine you were in the news and people were like, "Oh, what'd you do? Oh, I was in Huey Lewis in the News. Are you Huey Lewis? No, I was part of the news." The news. Go, yeah. One of the newsies. These guys were hot for like a decade, and then but yeah, I mean they, they, but they yeah. were white hot. Yeah. Yep, he's got many ears disease. I don't even know what this guy looks like? Huey Lewis. He was acting for a minute. He's done a couple of movies. It was good. He was the helicopter he, pilot oh, in he's Sphere. A white guy? Oh yeah, yeah. very white. Why did Wait, you this doesn't this scream white guy? music to you? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's got a soulful voice. He's that blue-eyed soul, but still, he's definitely a white guy. I mean, these are great songs. They are. They, I, I, they, you they guys have a, fly out. Yeah, if they you ha- leave now. You'll get here in time. They have enough riffs to them mm-hmm. where you're like, you know, uh, what else? Do you believe in love? Oh, that's a great one. You know, I want a new drug, don't you, Mary? I don't. It's the one that they sued over, right? Yeah, because Ray Parker Jr. ripped it off for Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. The they're all well because they're all these guys are kind of doing like 50s doo wop kind of stuff too so it was all drawn it was, from that yeah it was it, very in line with what billy joel was doing in the 80s yeah they were right place at the right yeah. time for uh... <laughs> mary's quietly sliding these tickets under the door hoping somebody no, walks by and grabs them i'm reading i'm texting people and nobody wants to come to this all I need is a couple days off. Right? Who's the and most this- famous person you know in New York? Uh, Robert De Niro. I don't know him. Howard I mean, Stern. Does Amy I mean, Schumer live in New like York? Comics, yeah, but she doesn't. I don't know her. Yeah, but you are, she follows you on Instagram. You want me to message her? Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, do you want to go to this with me? I Absolutely. think you should. Got That'd a kid. Be- She's looking to get out of the house. Yeah. That's so weird. Would you go with somebody? No, that but did, I, you didn't know? <laughs> an open micer, essentially? You're not an open micer. To she follows Schumer, you. I am. She follows you. Yeah, but you're offering her something nice. 
Let's hang out. You go, hey, this is going to be weird, but I have these tickets, and we should go. I'm just looking for anybody. You're you're low on my list, but I wanted to see if you wanted to go. Hey, my fake grandparents can come, so mm-hmm. you're next. Oh, I forgot about working for a living. Hit up a tell. Taking what they're giving because I'm working for a living. Any comics are going to have sets. It's a Tuesday night. This sex. Is like the sets. This is like the biggest night in the city for a comedy. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are huge. Hit up your manager. I thought about that. Be like, hey, you bought me a patty melt. I'm going to take yeah. you to see the Hewlett's <laughs> in the news. <laughs> You bought me a pen. And if you know anybody that's an agent, ask them to come along too. Yep. Yeah. Let's schmooze it up. I gotta get back in time. (laughs) Gotta get back in time. All right, I gotta take a break. Enough of this Michigas. Do love Huey Lewis, though. Dedicate this segment to our friend Jesse Schultz. All right, 35192. Wanna send a text? You got Guardians baseball tonight. Second of four there at Fenway in Boston. 7-10 tonight. 100 points of a double yellow button.